things could get messy. City Guide. City Guide, the tracks of our city. Dear citizens, thanks to the kind and generous people of Umbrella Inc., this peaceful and fr this is a peaceful and friendly city. I'm not even going to dignify that with a, a witty quip or whatever. I'm just going to leave it to just stand as it is. Yeah. The vast donations from Umbrella Inc. have been used for welfare work, the construction of public utilities, and help to maintain public peace. In 1992, it was my fifth year as mayor of our beautiful city. It was then that through many donations and hard work, our city was able to rebuil, re blah, 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 rebuild the municipal building, create a state-of-the-art hospital. In honour of these fine accomplishments, I was awarded with a grand statue that same year. The statue rests in the municipal building. I came to the city as an engineer more than 35 years ago. I made contribution to the electric systems and to the installation of the cable car. I pledged to follow the tradition of this fine city and will devote my life to its prosperity. The mayor of the city, Michael Warren. Well, Michael, you poor deluded bastard. Milkshake! Milkshake! I want the milkshake! No, no. Oh. Some inconsiderate person left their shopping bag in the way. I wanted the milkshake. Okie dokie. Seems to be a switch for the drain. We're not going to actually go down there just yet because... Right, we're going to open that. I'm not going to take this yet either. I'm just going to open that so that I can uh, put my lockpick away when I come back out here. <coughs> and beat the zombies over the head with my gun because it's pretty much useless because I have no damn bullets in it. I wonder if I can avoid you. Uh, probably not. Maybe. <laughs> Doozy, Mr. Zombie. some uh, shotgun shells over here and we have a rusted crank lovely now you can um as i was saying before you can either visit the restaurant first or you can visit the newspaper office first and it kind of just changes things up for you a little bit um i sometimes do the restaurant first but i'm gonna go to the newspaper office first simply because of um i'll i'll i'll, I'll explain i'll explain once i get into that situation and i'll tell you i'll uh, i don't want to give anything away so i'll explain uh once we're there in that situation why I made that choice. There we go. Now we have some bullets. This back. And I'm going to save it here before we go and do anything. Anything else? Because I don't want to have to redo things. And you know, this game it teaches you to be on guard. That uh, that I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna do it on a new save thing because I haven't actually had chance to look at the footage from the uh, earlier ones before, and you know. Just being safe and cautious. Because knowing me, I'd overwrite it, then there'd be a problem, and then I'd get annoyed, and um, yeah, it would all just be there. So we're not going to go there. We're going to. Um... Oh, I already have. I have like a green herb there. I'm going to take this green herb because I'm feeling a little bit paranoid. I'd rather be on fine. So then. <coughs> Yeah. Oh, damn it. I should 
have known better. Oh well. Take one to the. T take one for the team, Jill. Take one for the team. Okay, so I know, uh, does he have bullets as well? No. I was expecting something to happen there that didn't actually happen. So that's kind of this game, it, uh, changes things around so much and I end up being more paranoid because it's locked from the other side. I end up being more paranoid. Because, 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 because the wonderful things it does. Um, because... I don't really know what's actually going to happen. A number of things could happen when you walk into any area. So, it's good. Keeps you on your toes. There is a health spray here. Um, if I... I'm going to pick it up now, actually, because... I might not get a chance to. Anything this phone? No. Just push the step along here. Nice to see that it's still awkward. You have to be perfectly aligned with things to make them work. There is a photograph on top of this. Close up of a zombie. Ha! My name's Mr. Zombie. Ah, I'm ready for my close up. It says Scoop on the back side. That must be his name. Hello, Scoop. Lovely photo. Let me check my files. Oh, yes, we're doing. We're doing well. My files. Haven't missed any yet. Oh, yes. That was the whole point of pushing that over there, Gillian. Sometimes you are dozy. Turn on the power. Hop down. And, uh, it should work this time. Whoa! Almost barbecued my ass. Flamey flames. Go up the stairs. Oh! How dare you spit your glass at me? Oh! <sighs> Bloody explosions and stuff. Yes, we're walking into a burning building. This will probably not end well. Zombies and heard your message. Jill, Alpha Team, RPD Stars Unit. Who do you represent? Stars, I see. Well, I'm a member of the Biohazard Countermeasure Force sent by Umbrella Incorporated. Sent by Umbrella? Hey, don't look at me like that. What did I say? Do you have a problem? Oh no. It's him! Right, okay. Jump out of the window, which sounds like a bloody wonderful idea, or hide in the back. Now, in this situation, we're gonna um, hide in the back because we'll uh, see in just a second. Yep, you get a 
a little instant knockout in it. I'm just going to quickly pick up these files. Um, there is a photograph here. And there is quick, 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 quick. A reporter's memo over here. At last I found evidence that I need to prove... Evidence I need to prove that the cannibal disease is indeed happening in the city. One man actually ate people to death. Nice. He was like a savage animal, tearing away new flesh. It was completely disgusting. I have heard rumours that the people are also suffering from this... That many people are also suffering from this disease now. However, the causes of the disease is not yet known. Is it another mystery of the present disease? What? This makes no sense. I've heard rumours that many people are also suffering from the disease now. However, the causes of the disease is not yet unknown. Is this another mystery of the present disease? Oh, okay. I th th there was just far too much disease in that sentence. It didn't make sense to me. It will, I will have to check on it. They have placed Raccoon City under martial law because of this cannibal disease. I have lost con contact with the media outside the city, but I won't give up. As a journalist, I won't keep my eyes shut and walk away. I have a duty to my people and my profession. I'm also a gossip and like to talk a lot. I don't think the disease has spread nationwide yet. I believe the city still holds the key to its creation and cure. In fact, I am sure of it. The military has set up a blockade around the city to keep people from escaping and spreading the disease. Most of the citizens have either died or come into contact with the disease. I know that this is the right decision to quarantine the city, but I can't help but, feel I can't help but pity myself. If I'm infected or eaten, it doesn't matter. My fate is already sealed. All I have left is my journalism. I won't give up until I solve the mystery of this deadly disease. I have just discovered that the disease is not spread through the air, but by other means. A reporter's memo. Right now we've got it. Uh, the reason I'm saying be quick, 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 quick is because that little explosion thing was an instant knockout. On Nemi, and you get his third little goodie, which is lots of first aid sprays. But you have to be quick, quick, quick because he gets up. And Carlos tearing into him. And you're going to want to run. <laughs> you don't have to fight him again, that counts as your, uh, as your fight with him and counts as your knockout. So you can run now. In fact, it's probably best to run. Oh, I could have uh, come and picked the first day spirit. I wasn't sure whether he chased me down this, these stairs or not. <coughs> I need to ask you something. Why did Umbrella send your team here? Our mission is to rescue the civilians. How kind of you. Considering Umbrella caused all this in the first place, those liars! Look, we're just mercenaries, hired hands. Do you really think the master would tell his dogs why they have to retrieve the stick he just threw? No time for talking. If you can believe me, then join us. Think about it. Okay. So, yeah, we're gonna want to run now because. Oh. Okay. I expect a nemesis to uh, jump down from there and chase us. I don't know whether chase us is when we get into here. Yeah. But, um. He may chase me now. Eh, maybe not. Let me just, uh. pop into here. Yeah, so if you go to the uh, restaurant first, you will um, just put the, all these away. It's a shame that I like to go for good ranks, because that is a lot of health. But then again, I may end up using it. <laughs> because I intend to do battle. Lots of battle with Mr. Nemesis. Um... I'm actually considering throwing another save on there. Mm, I want to go to the restaurant first. Mm, make a decision, Lucy. Make a decision. How much time? Right. I'm not going to save. If I die, I might regret that. Oh, for God's sake. I'm feeling paranoid. I'm going to save. 
<laughs> I mean, it's not like we haven't got enough ink ribbons. I just know that if I don't save, I'm gonna die. So I'm not a hundred percent sure. Like as I've said, you know, all the different little scenarios, what happens, and I've got a feeling. I'm just gonna overwrite this. I've got a feeling that um, that a certain somebody might not be done chasing us, and if you know. I don't want him cheaping me out and uh, killing me and then having to do all that again because it'll just piss me off so it's better to save it's better to save than be sorry 